it had its um, origination around our involvement with the design in Darba as a sponsor. And we were saying, well, you know, how do we really co-create and have a fantastic collaboration? And um, it's, it's Ravi's brainchild in saying, well, let's look at a pop-up bar and call it design in the bar. I don't know about all this crow, 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 crow. What is it? It's a lot of beer. <laughs> It's nice to be talking mostly about like the process of my work and the ideas behind it, but more so like how each project sort of relates to each one another. Hi, my name's Heath and uh, I make beautiful things. And I'm, I'm here to present uh, a little talk about a trip I took to Zimbabwe last year to work with some amazing women that make the most incredible weaving. I'm Kaya and why in Dubai, not in Dubai. <laughs> I am going to be talking about the seriousness of creativity. Uh, and so what we've done is basically design a bar and an exhibition space over there which is kind of creates this great courtyard feeling and um, we've, we've got an exhibition space which is kind of the extension of Design and Darbo brand in terms of the exhibition and then we've got the great brand partnering with, with Brols. And welcome to Design and Darbo's In the Bar! And how awesome it is to celebrate uh, South African creativity under, under African skies, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Notice his leg. Notice the leg. I'm gonna do something now. Yeah. Look at her leg. Look at his leg. Look at her leg. Yeah. He's put. He's put something strange. I'm gonna f you up. I <laughs> <laughs> also didn't want to come in like as an outsider and just say this is what I want you to make. I wanted them to try and to try and teach them the design process and skill rather than just loading, giving them a design. Because you know their culture is what's supposed to give birth to their products. A lot of shops in Africa try to divert their customers' attention from the brands they stock by replacing their labels and so on. Our selling technique is the opposite of this, putting our stockists at center stage. So we actually like do everything that um, we see from the street and everything that we touch obviously will be from the street and we try to communicate with everybody from the street but bringing that whole new luxury um, feel into the clothing that we actually do. So, Nathan, my children tell me you're a tail gunner. I was a military man myself. That, that one got us into a hell of a lot of trouble. It also got us on the front page of the Sunday Times, which brought a lot of publicity and certainly got the brand known for irreverence and, and fun. I'm here in my capacity as uh, one of the co-founders and trustees of an organization called Shout for a Safer South Africa. This isn't about the artists that were involved in the song, but more about using creativity for a greater good. This is the cover that I recently designed for Design and Dawa that's running now. The whole idea I had to play around was DIY, do it yourself. So if you cut out the certain sections that I've made in the cover, you can build the type on the right. I did a piece called Body of Evidence. It was about the containment of violence in our bones uh, and how they come through. I was really interested in the, the endemic uh, notions of violence, the inherited violence in our, in our body, uh, and I was trying to figure out how to incorporate that in terms of remembered uh, knowledge in the bones. A lot of us as creatives, we find a lot of excuses about why we can't do things. We we'll say, I don't have the equipment, um, it's too expensive, um, you'll find lots of reasons. Michael Jackson was black, he was not allowed to be on MTV, and he, he just couldn't do anything. But what he did, he created the biggest piece of work in the world. Grolsch is uh, almost 400 years old and um, it really has a history of an uh, independent spirit and creative thinking and being unconventional. I mean, we've got this amazing, iconic swing top bottle. And what we decided was to say is, um, and we've actually done with, with our global partners, is commission um, top five uh, designers and artists to 
create chandeliers inspired um, and using the Grolsch swing top. Um, and what we want to do at Design and Darby in February um, in 2011, we're going to choose the top two um, and we would like to export that South African creativity into the top bars in the world that Grolsch is associated with. Been everything from using the top to actually doing different techniques in terms of blowing the glass to crashing the glass and um, you know really really quite amazing and innovative and it's quite nice to see you know the product extends itself into such beauty. I decided to use because it's a recycling theme to use a natural element so the tree shape uh, is being natural and then the, the arrow lily shapes of the, the grass grass bottle. So basically I worked with um, glass forming artist Ruti van Weyck and I gave him a few sketches and told him that I want this to look like Aram lilies. Um, <laughs> my husband drank all these grass bottles. <laughs> so, so he enjoyed the project most, I think. <laughs> I was happy to be called uh, to design a light. And uh, for me, the inspiration is how the mechanism works, you know. And I use the the, the, the swing top inside as a stopper of the bulb of the of the light fitting. So for me, that I wanted to basically use every part of it. Creativity can do anything that you can try to imagine, and um, and with the help of some other artists and with the help of some great companies like Rolsch and Indaba Design Indaba, can, creativity can do pretty much about anything. <laughs> creativity can make you happy. That's what it is. You can repurpose things, you can spend money on something and you can buy something new or you can be creative and, and that's really what Design and Darbo is about. It's about you know, uh, empowering people, it's about uh, creating new experiences and it's about you know, doing something different. So th this, this does all those things. What we will be doing is taking it to very unique, beautiful locations throughout South Africa and, and each time taking a different take in terms of what we can do in expressing creativity. I, I can't reveal all of that yet. It's, it's um, Obviously a lot of it is lies in the surprise, but it will be doing a tour um, of South Africa's beautiful places.